welcome back, or welcome if you're new here, to another Artist Alley vlog. My name's Nia, and this time we're going to run an expo in Little Tokyo. So in this vlog, I'll be showing con prep and whatever I feel is remotely interesting in my life. Um, so since Ronin Expo is pretty close to my last con, I didn't have any new things really besides some new sticker designs that you can see me designing here. I'm not entirely sure what to expect since this is my first one day con and I hear it's pretty small. And a friend of mine brought up that the venue isn't actually like in the heart of Little Tokyo, but a 10 minute walk away from it. So I'm not sure if it'll have a good amount of attendees or anything like that. So. We'll see. You know, go over each of the artists, uh, all the non-official stuff, go over the artists. Um, so these two high cube uh, buttons, I think they're by Elusphia. I'll put all their handles on screen if I don't remember them that well. These four um, blue lock buttons are by Curseal. Um, this um, Suki enamel pin was actually gifted to me for my birthday, but I'll try to look the artist up and I'll put their name on screen. And these two, I got la my last con from Oniku. There's a plane flying overhead, lovely. Yeah, these four Yu-Gi-Oh enamel pins are by This Is Tien. Love their work. And then everything else is official merch that I've just gotten through various stores. So yeah. Alright, my package came in. My sticker order. Gonna open it up right now and see how everything turned out. I was gonna use these for um, packing, like just my orders, like just for the packaging and stuff in the future. Let's just see this. It's like dragon stickers. Oh, and Mikey stickers, actually. Oh my god, I think they're so cute. What? What is this? They're so cute. Okay, now looks like we got Chikuyu here. Probably Takamichi. Also, this one. Yeah. Chikuyu. Takamichi. The whole gang's here. Wait, these are so cute. Alright, and now for my last cursed sticker. Oh my god. <gasps> what is this? So, yeah. Wow, these came out bigger than I expected. But I guess they are three inches. But yeah. I think these are so funny. Um, so <laughs> yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with my sticker order. Guys. My Avi Avi package finally came after s over 69 days at sea. It's here. Here he is in all of his glory. Just the pajamas. Oops. Stand up.
So here's my haul from Animate. I got the Japanese manga volumes with Bachu and Rin on the covers because that's how I collect manga, just with my favorite characters. Um, and then I got this uh, blind bag and I got this three Nagi fan for spending at least $15 on blue lock stuff. And then I also bought this cute little Atsumu finger plush thing. I also got this Atsumu photo card for free for spending $15 on Haikyuu stuff. The Nagi fan and the Atsumu photo cards were all like gotcha, so it could have been any character. I'll be opening up this blind bag. It's a bunch of different buttons of characters, so we'll see. Let's see what we got. It's purple, so we got Rayo. He's super cute in this. Honestly, all of the characters are really cute, so I'm pretty happy with whatever I'd get anyway. Of course, I wanted Vatra though. <laughs> and also, oh, I went to um, Kino Kuniya in the like, same mall area, and I got this Japanese volume of Yosuba, which I hear is very easy for beginner. Japanese learners to read, so I'm gonna attempt to read this. So yeah, this is my entire haul. No space. Good. Thank you. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Oh. Ah, my bad. Thank you. Oh my god. This is tiny. <laughs> All right, we made it to the other side. Put that. Honestly, the con was super slow throughout the entire day. There were a decent amount of attendees, but I think there were too many artists for the size of this con, which made it hard for us to make sales. But I did have someone come up to me very early in the event and say they watched my video, um, which was very surprising and sweet. I was so surprised that I was lost for words. I wish I could have given you a free sticker or doodle or something considering you're the first person who ever came up to me to say you watched my video. <laughs> but I I was I brain farted so bad. I'm sorry. If you ever come across me at an event again, please come say hi. I I want to give you a free sticker or something. In the future, I do want to make, you know, free stickers for people who watched my videos. I think that'll be cool. I just didn't expect it to happen so soon after my very first and only Artist Alley vlog. <laughs> also, just as a for people's information in the future if they ever see me or meet me, I am really bad with faces. It takes me a while to recognize people. So if I look confused even though we've met and talked before, like even an hour before, I it takes me a while to re register, so I'm really sorry if you could remind me if I'm looking a little confused. That would be helpful, <laughs> thanks. Collaborative effort. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah. 
back to the table and let my table mate walk around and I see Liz. She has some explaining to do. So I'm not entirely sure what else to say about this con besides the fact that it was really slow. Financially, me and my table partner combined, we were one dollar from breaking even. So table costs were around 160 and parking was 14 dollars. And we made a total of $173 in sales. And that's not even including other expenses like gas or food. But, you know, that's... I'm doing it for the, the title of the video, so... Uh, I hear a lot of other artists didn't break even either, so... I'm feeling pretty reluctant to come back to this con next year. Also, the like, hours were really long for some reason. Um, did not need to last until like 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. something like that. A lot of people start packing up early around like 6 to 7, myself included. However, the con organizers did offer food delivery services and table watching services, which is really nice. I've never seen a con do that before, to be honest, and I think it should be standard. Also, Ronin Expo was really community. The Communicative. Oh my goodness. Very good at communication leading up to the con, which is good. I mean, despite the slowness, I actually had a great time because I got to talk to a lot of my artist friends and made a lot of new ones too, so it was still a really fun time. I think the best part about these events is just, you know, connecting with others and just gushing over the stuff you love, so... Maybe the real reward was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> what have I say? <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to shout out everyone who stopped by and supported me and everyone I talked to because you're all always so kind and it just keeps me going. Encourages me to, you know, just make more art. My next event is Anime Pasadena, which is literally two weeks after Rodin Expo, so um, it's this weekend if I manage to get this video out before it happens. So if you're there, please stop by and say hi. So yeah, thanks for watching this vlog and hope you enjoy the rest of the clips of uh, me getting ice cream with my friends. God, this collab is so cute. <laughs>